So in the next couple of months or a couple of years, I'll probably say in the next two years, we're going to be seeing Apple either completely drop the iPod Touch lineup or develop a new brand of the iPod Touch lineup. It's either one or the other. In my opinion, I'm, they might actually end up dropping support of all iPods and quite potentially not making another iPod at all and essentially ending iPods as we know it, which is going to be such a sad thing. iPods have been one of the most like pop culture icon things in the world and the iPod Touch 7th generation is the most current one they sell, but the reason that we're going to be seeing an 8th gen or not seeing another iPod is because this device has the same chipset as the iPhone 7. Now, luckily for us, the iPhone 7 and, you know, the chipset inside of it, which is the Apple A10 Fusion chip, is still going to get iOS 16 support. So Apple is still going to sell this device for another year or two, you know, for the most part. But sooner than later, I would say probably 2023, we might see a new iPod come out and it may be something that a lot of people are kind of like why would they release another ipod that's so random but a lot of people are still buying the ipods because apple is still developing them and selling them maybe it's not as many as most people may think but some people you know have kids and they want to give their kid an ipod rather than having them have an iphone and you know there's still a lot of use cases for having an ipod to be honest and some things i could think of apple putting in on the next ipod is potentially in my opinion i just have a feeling they're going to do this they're probably going to put an apple a 12 chip and Side of this iPod and I do think it's going to probably in this be in the same case as an iPod touch or potentially as like an iPhone SE 2. Now there's no rumor suggesting that this is going to be the case we haven't really like I mentioned gotten any more news or leaks or anything but we are going into 2022 and I really do think by the time iOS 16 is in its beta form Apple's going to have to make a choice. Are they going to fully stop developing iPods or are they going to go and continue that iPod lineup? And in my head, it's really 50-50. For Apple to continue to make these iPods, they're going to have to make another device that's going to be around for a couple of more years. And the only way for them to do this is to make an iPod that has Touch ID, that still has a lot of those other current things, that way when they actually go and stop making iPhones with home buttons and all those things, that iPod doesn't seem completely out of place. And that's why they may end up putting a fingerprint sensor on this iPod. I don't think it's going to be, you know, anything super crazy, but the fact that they even refreshed this thing a couple years ago is pretty crazy in my head. So I truly do think Apple is going to be making another iPod and we could be seeing it as soon as next year. It's not a guarantee, but if I had to guess, I think this is something Apple could probably end up doing. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.